Okay, what's up guys? James Hopkins here and I'm joined today um, by Charlotte, one of the students in the Lifestyle Marketeer program. And she's currently based out in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. So, hey Charlotte, what's up? Hi, how's it going? All good. How about yourself? Everything okay? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Not too bad. Good, cool. Thank you very much for, uh, for jumping on and sharing your experience with us. Obviously, you've had some uh, fantastic progress in the program. Um, and obviously we want to hear a little bit about that. So first of all, before we get in, into your kind of results, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, where are you from and, and where do you live? Yeah, so I'm from the UK, about an hour from London. Uh, left the UK last year to, to backpack around Asia, travel for a little bit, um, and eventually decided that I, I wanted to stay out here, but I needed to find some kind of way of making money. So I did a bit of teaching, um, did a bit of volunteering, but it was nothing that could sustain the, the, the expat life that I wanted. Uh, came, across, came across your program and thought, yeah, I'll go for it, learn something new. Awesome. So what, what didn't you particularly like about teaching when you first started teaching or volunteering? What was it that you didn't like about that? Um, it was really exciting to begin with, but after a couple of weeks, I, I felt myself going back into the routine of, working all day for not a massive amount of money, stuck in the same place. And I thought I might as well be back at home doing this. Probably for more money as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where, whereabouts did you teach? Uh, in Vietnam, up in oh. the north of Vietnam. So it was quite secluded as well. There wasn't a massive social aspect there. Got ya, cool. Okay, so what, um, in, what, what kind of, problems were revolved around teaching in your previous life that made you want to start your own business what were you trying to escape from and what were you trying to achieve by doing that yeah so i wanted location freedom i wanted the the freedom to be able to live wherever i wanted to and enjoy that place at the same time so back in the uk i i worked for a, a retailer working 12 hours a day six days a week for somebody else and I didn't see the benefits of it. I, I didn't have a lot, of, a lot of time to spend with my friends or going on holiday. Got you. So taking back some control over your own life, as well as the location um, freedom. What about, the, what about money? Did you want to make more money than you were making teaching? Or what motivated you financially as well? Yeah, so I wanted to find a job that, that paid about the same that I got back home, but without working the long hours. And teaching just didn't do that for me. So even though the cost of living out here is a lot cheaper, it still didn't give me the money to be able to save up to continue my travels. Got you. Um, whereabouts are you currently? In, in the world. Yeah, where are you now? In uh, Kuala Lumpur. Well, so what, what took you to Kuala Lumpur? Let's hear the, the, the kind of story that's led you to Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> so um, I originally I wanted to settle in Australia, but it was it was kind of too expensive to, to settle there, and I decided I'll come back to Asia, uh, settle down here for a bit. The food the food's great, the people are great, and I had a few friends in Malaysia as well. Got you. So it's a it was a good place to settle and start up my own business and really focus on making it making it grow. Bit, bit of focus time, lower cost of living, and an opportunity to, to work on something for yourself that's potentially going to enable you to live where you want. So where, where else do you want to go? Where else do you want to live that you're actually able to do now or get in there? Yeah, so I want to go to South America next year. That's my plan. Nice. Um, and the, the, the business is, for me, enabling me to do three things. So I have three things on my, on my goal list that I want to do. So I want to go to Africa go to South America and do a tour of Antarctica. So the business is enabling me to do that. Got you. So you were looking for a way that would enable you to, to be able to do these things and live where you want and travel where you want whilst making a healthy income, right? Was that the yeah. goal? Understood. So before you actually joined the program, um, what, what had you tried before that? Had you thought about trying anything in terms of like starting your own online business or you know, had, you, had, you, had you done anything else? Yeah, I'd always looked at bloggers and influencers, and that's what clogged up my newsfeed. And I thought maybe I could do this. But as soon as I 
started researching into it, I, I got lost straight away. There was just so much to learn, so much to know. And there's so many people telling you that they have the, the best offering and they're telling you how to make money, how to become a blogger. But when you look more into it, they're actually working really long hours inside, even if it's in a place that they want to be. Yeah. Got you. So um, with that being said, then, when you found out about the Lifestyle Marketing Program, um, what did you first think when you heard about the program? So initially, obviously quite skeptical because it's, it's the same as, it's the same concept that you see a lot of on Facebook. Um, I had a little look into it, saw some of the success stories and uh, jumped, on a call, jumped on a call with, with one of the, the marketers in the program. And after having a chat with him, it just, it seemed like the right thing to do. And it felt like this is what I want to do. This is what I want to go into. And this program is going to give me the foundation and the right, the right startup guide to be able to, to grow my own business. Got you. Okay. So um, now you're sitting where you are. Can you just tell us in terms of, you said it seemed like the right thing to do. What have your results been, particularly over the last, the last few weeks in terms of um, how many clients have you landed and how much does that put you on monthly recurring revenue from those clients for your new service? Yeah, so I, I currently have eight clients um, and I'm earning uh, $4,600 per month with my clients. From those clients? Recurring. From those clients, yeah monthly retainers that's fantastic to see now in terms of the timeline because i know you've landed those clients very quickly one after the other and um, so just over the last how, how many weeks is it two or three weeks what was the kind two of weeks. timeline of landing those clients recently yeah so it's, it's all happened within the last two weeks and and before then um i had had a few clients here and there but the first client that I landed two weeks ago, um, I just decided I'm just going to go for it. And I'm just going to be really confident on my call and I'm just going to tell, tell him the value of what I provide. And after that, it gave me a massive confidence boost. And after that, it's just been you know, eight clients, landing them within kind of two days of each other. Massive confidence boost. So within, so just to summarize then, over the last two weeks, you've landed eight paying clients paying you now in total 4,600 US dollars per month, right? To clarify. Yeah, that's it. Fantastic. And, um, you know, really, obviously, when you've really started to focus on it particularly as well and, and you know, give it your all, that's when you've really started to see the results clearly too. Um, but in terms of the side effects, okay, making 4,600 US dollars per month is fantastic. But... What has that enabled you to do now with your life or in your life? Or what has it enabled you to start planning to do that you couldn't do before? What's it changed for you? Yeah, so as, as a short-term goal, um, I'm now going to Australia for four weeks with my family in about four weeks, which I wouldn't have been able to do. Um, as a long-term goal, um, I've now started to actually decide where I want to go next. So up, up until now doing a range of different jobs. I wasn't sure how long I'd have to be there and save up to go to the next place I wanted to go to. Whereas now I have the freedom to say, okay, I'm going to go and travel for a little bit and then I'm going to settle somewhere. So I've got the freedom to go to any place I want to go to, but also do the activities that I want to do. Go skydiving and that kind of thing. Yeah, not, not have to worry about running out of money or not being able to eat at nice restaurants because you're kind of on a really tight budget, right? So exactly. Well, um, pushing further through the kind of current success that you've had, you know, in the last couple of weeks, how much further do you think you can grow this business in terms of um, monthly income and, and how quickly and how confident are you that you can reach your next goals fairly quickly? What are those next goals financially? Yeah, so I guess before, before I started uh, closing all my clients, I didn't have a clear vision of where I wanted it to go. Whereas now I've started working with a range of plants and a range of strategies, I have more of a, an avenue that I want to go down. So my, my goal is to, is to make five figures by the end of the year per month. Five figures a month by the end of the year. Do you yeah. feel like yeah. um, you're going to achieve that with your current trajectory? 100%. 100%. Yeah, in the next couple of months, 
I just want to look at upscaling, growing, expanding, and learning new skills because there's so, so much that the, the program provides as a foundation and there's so much to learn on top of that as well. Yeah, exactly. So um, that kind of brings us on nicely then to what, what, what do you like about working with me and being part of the program? What, what you know, really gives you a lot of value out of it? Yeah, I love the community aspect of it. It's like a, it's like a family and everyone motivates each other. Everyone helps each other. And it's great to have a variety of experience in the group. You can always ask for feedback. You can always get the best results for your clients because you have a support network behind you. And you know that these people are going to be able to answer any question that you have. And being having access to uh, six-figure earners as well in the group, I'm sure, um, is very valuable in terms of helping you uh, raise, your, raise your sights as well, right? Now it feels achievable, does it, that you can yeah. hit those kind of financial goals? Yeah, when I first when I first started the program, my goal was to make fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars a month, and I would have been happy with that. But after seeing the success of, of other people in the group and seeing the success that I've had, my goals have gone right up. The sky's the limit now. <laughs> um, and uh, how important would you say being part of a community or a program like this um, is to succeeding in, with local business digital marketing? Yeah, it's so, so important, especially as when you first start out, there is so much to learn and there's so much that you have to pick up and it does take persistence. It does take motivate self-motivation, but having a group and a network behind you keeps you motivated. And when you see other people's success and you see other people doing great, it motivates you to do better. And you're always kind of pushing to be the best marketer that you can be because you have that network around you. And it makes you realize that it, it is possible and it's not just, you know, James that succeeded with um, local business digital marketing, but um, lots of other, you know, lo obviously lots and lots of other people now in the community like yourself who, um, who have got fantastic results. So what would you say to somebody then who's still on the fence, who's thinking about, you know, jumping in and working with me and getting involved with the program? What would you say to that person now, now that you are sitting where you are? Yeah, I 100% go for it. So I, I was in a similar position. I was on the fence and it's, it's the fear of going into the un unknown. And I didn't know anything about what I was letting myself in for, but it's hands down being the best decision that I've ever made. And I now feel like I can make a career out of it. It's not just a job that I'm going to work in for a few years. It's a career, it's a life, life choice for me now. Yeah. So 100%, yeah, absolutely go for it. It'll be, it'll be the best decision you make. Good, wicked. Thank you very much. And uh, just on, on that final note, do you have any final recommendations or, uh, you know, to anybody else who's listening on top of that? In regards to kind of digital marketing and, and the programme? Everything, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a great programme and it gives you all, you know, the foundations that you need to make a great business. Uh, James is amazing. Uh, the, whole, the whole group is great. The support network is, is great. And yeah, essentially, it, it gives you the it gives you friendships as well, the friendships, support network, um, guidance throughout the whole process. So yeah, again, absolutely best decision that I've I've made. Good, fantastic, delighted to hear it, Charlotte. You're doing some really really awesome things, and um, keep doing what you're doing. And I'm sure I'll see you back here for another interview at some point uh, when you hit that absolutely. point we grab off the mark. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Yes.